Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. In our last video we discussed chemical reactions in the chromosphere and today I wanted to continue this discussion. If you have not watched these videos, please do so before you move on. Otherwise, you will not be able to completely follow this discussion. First, let me mention once again that in the liquid metallic hydrogen model of the Sun, the chromosphere is endowed with the ability to harvest hydrogen and protons using condensation reactions and thereby help to conserve the mass of the Sun. In our last video, I emphasized the role of one electron transitions in the chromosphere. Those reactions are important as they are signaling that condensation reactions such as these are involved in the transfer of a hydrogen atom and are taking place in this region of the Sun. However, it is also evident that there are some two electron transitions taking place. So what is going on there? Once again, I believe that emission lines associated with two electron transitions strongly supports the idea that we are seeing evidence of chemical reactions here on the Sun. Two electron transitions should not appear on the Sun if random absorption and emission of photons was all that we were seeing. An example of a two electron transition occurs with a titanium one line. This line is produced by a two electron transition from a set of paired electrons in a D shell lower energy state as you can see here. One of the two electrons moves into the 4s shell and the other into the 4p shell. This can open up two molecular shells for bonding and that could be used to bind molecular hydrogen rather than atomic hydrogen. As a result, two electron transfers imply the delivery of molecular hydrogen to a condensed hydrogen structure. Two electrons are involved, not just one, because we are transferring molecular hydrogen, not atomic hydrogen. So now, a little lesson in inorganic chemistry. In the laboratory, it is known that titanium can use its D shell to create what is known as a transient pi backbonding donation molecular shell. When binding to molecular hydrogen, the two hydrogen molecule electrons contribute what is known as a sigma donation. Such reaction products exist in inorganic chemistry and they involve two electron participation in the transition element. In the Sun, this intermediate could be used to deliver an entire hydrogen molecule to a condensed hydrogen structure, as you can see here. What is key is that the ground state involved has two paired electrons, exactly like what we need chemically. However, it should be more probable that if two electron transfers are random in nature, that the electrons in the D shell would be unpaired. Surely the fact that the emission lines is being produced from a paired electron transition in the D shell is not an accident. So once again, you can now see that the chromosphere is truly a fascinating place. Its emission lines are filled with information, but in order to harvest any knowledge from them, one has to think about chemistry and forgo the idea that everything relative to the sun is simply random. Condensation reactions are taking place here and they must be recognized if the chromosphere is ever to be properly understood. Again, it is a question of inorganic chemistry, not physics. If you enjoyed the video today, promote the channel, mention the video to your local astronomy club, support me with a like, and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below, and I'll see you soon on our next video.